Hello folks, hi ho peepers and creepers. So I'm um, going to do a spark plug job on my uh, 2004 GMC Sierra. She's got about 220,000 miles on her. Um, I've, I've been having a little bit of rough idle stuff going on, um, which I'm thinking I'm chasing an evap leak. And I've replaced the fuel cap uh, twice on it. And I've got I got this one right here was supposed to be GM genuine parts, but the seal is some kind of red, pinkish looking stuff, and the old cap was black. So I re I bought this same cap like two times, and it still kept getting a loose gas cap error. So I went to the dealer, bought a cap, and I haven't had the loose gas cap um, error lately. Um, but I'm still have, getting a, a very irregular, um, rough idle from time to time. So I'm going to chase an evap leak, but being that I'm at 220,000, I've only done, done the plugs and wires on this once. And I don't know, people are all over the board of when you should do this. The dealer is telling me not every 100,000 or something crazy. Um, but I'm going to do it right now, you know, cause I, I know I did it early, probably 70,000 miles and I haven't touched it since. So I'm pretty sure these plugs need to be done. So I went with the AC Delco wires, there's your part numbers there. These are seven millimeter wires. I was reading a deal where they were recommending like eight millimeter or better due to RF problems. Well, this day and age. I don't know that the RF is your big concern. There ain't a lot of people that have those rabbit ear TVs, so I don't think it matters this this day and age. But these are AC Delco 7 millimeters, uh, which is what the manual calls for. Um, I got me some spark plug uh, boot protector stuff. Now, um, if you buy the AC Delco plugs, uh, they come pre-gapped, which is pretty cool, and that's probably really all you need. But I'm just one of them superstitious fellows, and uh, I, I believe on my last one I did go with Bosch. Uh, so I'll, I'm going with Bosch again, and it's the double iridium. And it says right there, OE fine wire spark plug. Um, so the manual is showing a gap of 0.040. And I was hoping that these were just going to already be there. So uh, when I checked them out, they weren't. They were at 0.05. So I just wanted to do a real quick deal on how, how to gap a spark plug. Um, so I don't know. To me, when I looked at it, I thought it was kind of a... Ooh, we can't really see that. I thought it was kind of a big gap in there. So... You need a, some kind of gapper. I have a feeler gauge, but I also have this little bad boy from AutoZone. I've had him for a long time. Done a couple of spark plug jobs on people's cars. But uh, basically how you use this bad boy, let's see if I can do this, is you have your spark plug like that. You take, find the most narrow end of this tool, which is at .02 and just slide it on you have that little electrode in the middle try not to pry on that but you put put this on and you just slide it to get your reading oh oh no so so if you look at that i'm at like 0 0.048 maybe is that right yeah but anyways it should be oh get out of there it should be let me see if I can get that 4.0 on there for you. It should just go to about right there, but it's going way past it. So what I was doing to adjust these is just a little tap. Probably about all you need. Let's put this back on. Okay. You don't have to get super crazy with that. Well, maybe I'm going to have to get just a little bit more forceful. Dang, this one was really out. Okay, so I had to kind of give her a little bit of tap. So see, now I'm a little under, right? You don't want to force it. So this little hole, you put it over your the end of the electrode, 
and you pr and you pry upwards. You don't want to pry against against the item in here. Just a little bit. There you go. And let me. Now I you see. Now I went too much. You just barely need to. Just barely need to crank it up. There we go. So it's nice and snug. Dang, I'm like right on. That might be a .041, but that's going to be good enough for government work. And uh, I will show me pulling out that number eight plug here shortly. But I just wanted to show uh, um, how to gap a spark plug. That's all.